Age-related macular degeneration, more commonly referred to as AMD, is an eye condition that affects your central vision, which is what you can see directly in front of you rather than what is in your peripheral vision. The macula is the central part of the retina and is responsible for all of our central vision, as well as the fine detail of what we see. In wet AMD, the damage caused to the macula causes loss of the central vision. AMD affects millions of people worldwide and it is the leading cause of sight loss in the UK. While the disease may be unfamiliar or new to you, there is a lot of knowledge and support available to those living with AMD and there are some treatments available for those diagnosed with wet AMD. The most common form of AMD is dry AMD. However, wet AMD still affects a large number of people. There are some significant differences between dry AMD and wet AMD. Wet, age-related macular degeneration is termed wet because the disease is caused by abnormal blood vessels growing at the back of the eye, which leads to leaking of blood and fluid through the macula. This contributes to scarring of the macula and causes rapid loss of central vision. It develops a lot faster than dry AMD, but it can be treated if diagnosed early on which is why it is important to act quickly if you notice any sudden changes in your vision. It's important to be aware of the signs that typically indicate that wet AMD has developed in the eye. Words might seem to disappear while reading, colours may fade and the eye might become more sensitive to bright lights. Those living with wet AMD often experience gaps or dark spots appearing in their vision. Objects and shapes may appear to change form in some way. One of the easiest ways to notice this is when straight lines such as lampposts or door frames appear to bend or become distorted. Having an Amsler grid is a helpful way of testing your vision to look for any distortion in the lines you see. An optometrist can diagnose wet AMD and they will refer you to a retinal specialist at a hospital or eye clinic immediately. You will then begin treatment within two weeks of diagnosis if it is needed. The good news is that wet AMD is very treatable, but it is crucial to act and begin treating the disease as soon as possible because it develops very rapidly. If you already live with dry AMD, check your vision regularly with your Amsler grid to help spot changes in your vision since 1 in 10 people with dry AMD go on to develop wet AMD. The treatment of wet AMD is easily accessible and does not require a highly invasive treatment. Usually, a patient will be treated once a month by administering simple injections into the eye. Thereafter, the eye will be assessed and treatment will be given as needed. This injection is performed in the corner of the eye after the eye has been anaesthetized. Most patients don't even see the needle and only feel a light pressure against the eye when injected. A number of different drugs are used to treat wet AMD. You may need more or less injections depending on which drug is used and how you respond to the treatment. Speak to your consultant about your treatment options if you have any questions. If your eye specialist decides that your condition is stable and that you can discontinue your treatment, you should continue to monitor your eyesight regularly with your Amsler grid. You should also continue with regular visits to the ophthalmologist. Be sure to ask your ophthalmologist to provide you with clear information about your specific treatment and your schedule. Remember to ask your ophthalmologist to refer you to low vision services available. You should now have a clear idea of what wet AMD is and some of what you can expect to experience if you've been diagnosed with the disease. If you have further questions, be sure to visit the Macula Society website or YouTube channel for more helpful information on living with AMD, as well as advice on general eye health. You can also join the Macula Society for regular updates on research into AMD, new therapies that become available, and information on how to live well while managing AMD.